Brazil, we have many legends, but many legends is like a. a Estão aposentando? Is retired. The legend is retired. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now is a nova geração. Now yes. The... Now is is my time. And the next time, the next generation. I'm the next generation from Brazil, and I I now have question. I will the be, I will I will be the next uh, legend of from from Brazil. I was talking to your coach, uh, Eric Albaracin, and he says he wants to call you the eraser because yes. you erase people. How do you yes. feel about this nickname? Yes, it, it, it's the, the, the best translation of my, my, my real nickname from Brazil because I'm like a, I, I erase everybody like, like this. <laughs> Paulo Costa. I met him on the set of Ultimate Fighter 3 Brazil. I coached that opposite Vandalay Silva. We would all watch him. He'd be the first one in the gym, he'd be the happiest one to be there, and he'd be the last one to leave. Plus, he was strong. But when you see that strength, that natural strength and athleticism mixed with that hunger, and I can tell you in 2014, he wasn't wildly talented. He was strong and he was athletic and he was hungry. He was motivated. But he wasn't wildly talented. He didn't show up with a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He didn't show up with like a Golden Gloves background. He wasn't a national team member in wrestling. But you could see that hunger. Really what we should do, we should be praising heaps on Paulo Costa, because that, that guy's scary. He's fucking terrifying. That guy's the future. He's 4-0 in the UFC and all knockouts, or 3-0 all knockouts. Mm. His last two, he murked dudes. Woo! Tonight, making his UFC debut, Paulo! Bohashinha! So here's Little Rubber, Bohashinha, making his UFC debut against Garrett McClellan. Little stumble there from McClellan up against the fence. What a pace being set, the only go in by Bohashinha. From these body kicks, these long right hands. Oh, I think McClellan's hurt. Here's Here goes McClellan. Paulo Bohashinha! This one has all the makings here of being outstanding for as long as it lasts. Paolo Boja Sr. believes he has all the technical and physical advantages tonight. We'll see how it plays out. Boja Sr. in white. Oluwale Bamboche is in black. Boja Sr. pulling by this crowd inside leg kick. Clear one shot from Ben Boche. Excellent shots the body here. Oh, Boja Sr. There's Boa Shinya pouring it on! Well, look how he's going to the body, digging those punches. We are getting the fight we expected here. Bamboche coming up, circling away, eats a kick now. Maybe a second win here for Bamboche early rounds. An excellent combination. Oh! Boa Shinya trying to finish Bamboche here. Oh, oh he's heavy. The fight was basically an assault. It was an assault. You would never believe that Johnny Hendricks was a former world champion if you saw the way the eraser beat the shit out of him. I mean, he just beat the shit out of him. Get off the paper, Get Johnny Dibrick Hendricks. Taking on Paolo Costa Hendricks and Blue Costa is in the that's what you see in Costa's fight. He's usually got to take the center of the Up the octagon to start to try to do it. Big knee from Costa. Splits the guard with that right hand. Another big knee by Costa. Good head oh, from Hendricks. That clip. Yep, they got a hook there. Yeah, the left. He's of course, he's gone the 25-minute championship distance several times. Oh, he's splitting the right hand.
make of Paulo as an opponent? Uh, you know, do you like the guy? I don't really know him. I know he's young. I know he's hungry. I definitely know he's on the juice. Here we go here with this feature. Freeland, don't forget UFC 226. Oh, right, 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 the super right, fight, Steve Bay Nietzsche, Daniel Cormier coming up at the top of the hour. First, though, this fight at Midway Costa in Black Uriah right, Hall. Right, 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 right. Oh, that's a nasty shot to the body. Oh, man. Oh, vicious kick to the body by Costa. This is mad. He got tapped. One of the reasons why I was really excited about you being today is because this weekend, there's, there's, it's a great fight card. Like the Steep A DC, DC rematch is an amazing card, amazing fight for that card. I love the card in general, but the Paulo Costa Yoel Romero fight, that's the one that perplexes me. Mm. Like, how does that go down? What happens when these two fucking Brahma Bulls smash heads in the middle of the octagon? That's it. the most important is a God say, God, go on a high. I say, go. So you say, go on a high. I go. I don't care how damn big is the guy. I don't care who is the top, the more fast is the guy. Who is the job? I don't care about it. I want to fight against him because he talks shit a lot about me. He's a personal for me. And because I'm ready for everybody on this division. I'm ready. I will show who is the new new king of this division. It's me. You know, I can beat everybody. See that fight between Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya? Yeah, I think uh, Whitaker will always match Adesanya. If Adesanya thinks he's this belt, anyway, I will kill him.